Okay, here we go. Alrighty. And we're live version two. So here we go. This is, <laughs> I got this working now and I've got sound. So you all should be able to hear me. So this is take two of the easy IO unboxing. Maybe uh, that first time was just pretty bad and I didn't realize I had no sound going but now I do. That's awesome. All right, so for those of you watching live, thank you very much. For those of you who are watching this after the fact, if you ever want to send me a controller or some sort of technology and have me kind of explore it and share it with the world, let me know. Just just send it to me. So just a disclosure here, I'm not endorsing any product just because I'm unboxing it. And I'm doing this as part of Building Automation Monthly just to share in the education of building automation professionals. So first thing I got here is this FG20. Um, not quite sure what FG stands for, but I know the 20 stands for the amount of inputs and outputs it has. So as I open this up, you know, it's pretty sturdy. And uh, it reminds me in some ways of an Allerton controller in just kind of its simplicity and how it has the outputs and the inputs and it uses a num numeric identifier. So what I've got right here is I've got a series of universal outputs and then digital outputs, a 24 volt AC, two trunks, although on this one I'm not seeing a shield, so just trunks in themselves and I'm not seeing a reference either. So that's kind of interesting. I wonder what protocols these trunks do. I don't know. I probably should have read the manual. Then I've got a bunch of universal inputs and a IP uh, input for a trunk. Supposedly this, I think this does wireless. Maybe it's the other controller that does wireless. But uh, so this is the field gateway, I think is what FG stands for. All right, so then next, what I have here, and this is the one I'm really excited about. This is kind of cool. Um, because these controllers have the programming software built into them, and this is the FS32, so 32 inputs and outputs. You see, once again, universal inputs. But there's no DC power, so there's no 15 volts DC or anything. So if you had to do 4 to 20 or whatever, you would have to go and externally source that. I also see that this has an S, which I'm not sure if that means shield on the trunk or if that means that it's a reference. I'm not quite sure what it means, and uh, so that'll be interesting. Now, what I'm also seeing here is that I've got eight digital outputs, and I've got my 24 volts. And then this is supposed to be a web server. This is supposed to be actually a server class device. It's supposed to have a VPN, I guess, built into it eventually. So it'll be real interesting to play with this. And I will go and explore the user interface and those kind of things. We'll see what this, uh, what this can do. So with that being said, if you all want me to look at a piece of technology or some sort of uh, controller or anything like that, let me know. I might have it in stock sitting here in the house. If I don't, then uh, you know, send it my way and I'll take a look at it. I think it would be good for the BAM Nation to be able to see these different pieces of technology that you know they may not see every day. And then we can explore them, look at the software, all sorts of fun stuff. All right, so with that being said, thanks a ton for tuning in. I appreciate you all stopping by. And uh, like I said, if you want to see something, just send it my way. Or just shoot me an email at phil at philzito.com. Thanks. Have a good night. Alrighty.